Hello guys! In this tutorial, we will walk you through the structured system setup between the HMI, PLC, and VFD, as well as the programming steps required for seamless operation. Before we begin, ensure you have the necessary equipment. By the way, all these components are available at ATO.com. You can view our product catalog by clicking the links down below in the description box. Let's begin by establishing the communication structure of the analog output control system built by the HMI through the PLC. The HMI communicates with the PLC via RS-232 using the host link protocol. ATO's VFD serves as the actuator, and this is the wiring diagram demonstrating its connection within the system. The complete wiring setup involves the HMI communicating with the PLC via RS-232, providing analog input signals to the PLC and the analog output module generating a 010 volts signal for the VFD. Let's delve into the PLC programming specifics. The first PLC program moves the control command for the 0 to 10 volts output into special register area 1. Register 102 is the output register for the analog expansion unit. D10 stores VFD input frequency data and is reset to zero on the first execution of the PLC command. T05 indicates the data execution time. UA0.00 triggers the external execution condition, part of the HMI program, for writing the frequency to the VFD. When DUI000 is triggered, the data from D10 is transferred to 102. Next, let's set up the HMI for this system. Start by creating a data input box. Double-click to edit its properties. Directly link the data input box to PLC's D10 storage area. VFD Frequency Data Storage Area Then set the data input box range from 0 to 60 Hz Define the gain, which magnifies the input data command when the input is 10 volts, with a maximum input frequency of 60 Hz, the corresponding command data is 6000. For example, inputting 60 Hz in the data input box results in a value of 6000 in the D10 storage area after being amplified by 100 times. The PLC analog output value corresponding to 6000 is 10 volts. Set the write key. The write key corresponds to W0.00 in the PLC program. Now it's time to integrate the PLC and HMI programs. The HMI communicates with the PLC via RS-232. MADI-11 outputs an analog signal to the VFD's CI and GND terminals. Configure the VFD parameters as follows. To set these parameters on the VFD, follow these steps. Press PRG to enter the parameter programming mode. Choose parameter group P0. Select P0.01. To set the main frequency to 3, CI analog input. Set P0.05 to 60 for the maximum frequency. Set P0.06 to 60 for the upper limit frequency. Set P0.07 to 0 for the lower limit frequency. Once the settings are complete, exit the setting mode. Let's test the system input 10 Hz in the frequency input box. 
Press right. The VFD frequency is set to 10 Hz. Input 50 Hz to set the VFD running frequency to 50 Hz. Similarly, inputting 60 Hz will adjust the VFD frequency accordingly. By following these programming steps and system configurations, you can successfully control VFD frequency using PLC and HMI with 0-row 10 volts analog output signals.